Alright man, this is episode 3. Okay everyone, and welcome back to Chaos and Death. Play Dark Souls. This is episode 3. We're still in Undead Burg, as you can tell. My friend is still using the Uchi Katana, which has not yet been upgraded, but we're getting to the point to where it's going to need to be upgraded here pretty soon. As you can tell, he's pretty, getting pretty decent drops, but you have to be extremely careful here. Because this motherfucker right here will fuck you over so bad. Because you never see him coming until the last second when he hits you. Now, from me and him, me and my friend here, we like to do our own way. Like, he prefers to go straight in combat. Me, I prefer to pick the bitch off with a bow. Because I hate the motherfucker more than he does. Now, this this is a shortcut from Lara and Deadberg, I believe, as well, to Undeadberg Upper. But we can't open it yet. So. Yeah, we have to get to a certain part in the quest yet. Now, as you can tell, he just got rapid succession attacked in the face. Again... Which is normal, but okay. And if you go in here, this is basically a trap. But it's an easy pick off. And if you go back to where my friend just passed, there is a chest in there with, I believe, what is it, firebomb? It's usually firebomb or something remotely decent that you can use. I mean, it does help you off in the starting, but it's pretty much useless later on. Yeah, black firebomb. It's pretty useless. Pretty right much. now. Because we don't use, we rarely ever use firebombs. We're mostly like, we'll walk into your face and just stab the shit out of you until you die. Which we enjoy that. We do, really do. Now here, you want to be extremely careful. Because you want to lower both of those meteors away from the black, the firebomb thrower. Now if you're not too careful about it, you will get raped pretty hard. And my friend's probably going to make a mistake here and go to the bonfire and rest, which he shouldn't. But he's got no Essex class, so he has to. <clears throat> now, he can pretty much either go back to where he was at, or he can grind and get a few more levels in. Not knowing <coughs> how my friend is, I mean, he'll pretty much grind, but he has to be extremely careful because he nearly fell off like a bitch. Yeah, if you see the camera swaying just a little bit, sorry about that, guys. We're doing this on the fly. It's our first series together. We're pretty close friends, and we thought, man, what the hell, do a YouTube series, you know? We have things that other people have misguided or misled you on on Dark Souls. And I'm also got a bad cough, so it's gonna hurt pretty well. Now, if you want to do the whole pairing thing with the Uchi Katana, it's pretty optional. But if you want to do the pairing thing, you need a pretty good shield that's not too heavy, but not too light. You want an in-between shield that's really good. With resistance and parry. Which is your poise, if you, if most people don't know by now. Which I believe a lot of people do. Now here, he pretty much takes all three out without dying. Which is a good move, because he hit him just right. Now up in this tower is another guy with a crossbow, which is a complete dick. Because he will pick you off from right there. And as you can see, if, if my friend would have looked downward. Or actually where he's going right now. The guy would have picked you off the crossbow from where up, up in that tower. Now you got another two sword guys here <coughs> with a spear user. Now you gotta be careful about this. If you're not too careful, you can either hit him with a plunge attack or you can roll off and nearly die like my friend almost did there. Where you can surprise him from behind. He looks at the body and see what we got, bro. Uh, not bad, not bad, but it could be better. Okay, now, this is a, where the crossroads are. There's a chest there, then there's a guy with an exploding barrel up there. Now, if you can type it in just right, you can roll right over that barrel. Or get hit by it, like my friend just got hit pretty badly. Which he's now getting by... Oh! Oh, that was close, bro. That was close. As you can tell, we're having just a tad bit of trouble here. But now that we're good to go, we're going to go ahead and go up here. Now, did we pick the Master Key? Good. This will actually be extremely helpful later on. There, you see that door there? That's pretty much where a Havel, that leads down to Havel and the Dark Root Garden, I believe. Don't go there until you're at least, what, level 30, 35, maybe 40. But make sure that you have armor that you can rely on for resistance and poise. Otherwise, you'll be so screwed down there. Watch this. this is a tourist demon. Fuck, 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 fuck. And my friend forgets to make a mistake where he can hold the B button and run. Shut up. He can also climb up the ladder if he still remembers that control. Oh, 
I still never do the drop right, you know that. Yeah. But now, see, if my friend will get this plunging attack just correct, you'll see how much damage the Uchikatan can really do after he kills these two bitches. Now, go off the edge right there and hold RB. As you can tell, he just did 344 damage with dual two handing the, katan the Uchi Katan. Now, most people, they don't really consider doing the Uchi Katan at the very first. But let me tell you, it's a lot better than Drake Sword until you get the Drake Sword. The Drake Sword is 200, but that's a cheap way out. Is it not? Well, if you get the Knight Sword, which I'm going to show you how to get <coughs> to eventually. But I just pretty much just rape him, pretty much. Yeah, see, the Uchi the Uchi Katan pretty, it does pretty good against the Taurus Steven. Yeah, that's it. to be careful not wearing it out. Yeah. You also got to worry about the durability and everything else. But other than that, it's pretty damn good. Yeah. And as you can see, this concludes episode three of okay, Chaos and man. Death. I want to show them one more thing, if you don't mind. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, man. Guess uh, I'll get a little, a little added footage now, huh? Well, uh, you see this guy, you know, to get your multiplayer, pretty much. There's this guy down here, right? Solit Solit Solitaire, what the Solitaire, what the fuck you want to call yeah. him? Well, the sun guy. Well, once you get that stone from him, or you could just kill him and do it. Uh, if you kill him, you actually get one of, you get the sun's talisman. No, let me is, let me correct you here right now. If you kill him, you get his armor, which is a shield, sword, armor, the talisman. But you don't get the magic from him, which you have to go to the sunlight altar, which is coming up here pretty soon. But you also, I think you get the soapstone. But Solitaire is a bitch to kill if you are not careful. As you can see, my friend's getting raped pretty hard, so you better run. He better run fast, 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 and he just fucked himself right there. The Solitaire can really fuck him up. Come on, bro, you can get him. I think two more hits. Solitaire don't kill him. Damn, we almost got him, guys. Ah, right, well, that concludes this video. This concludes episode three, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed us getting raped so hard by Solitaire. <laughs>